Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a really quick, easy, professional makeup look for you. Considering we've all just had, you know, the holiday season and many of you are heading back to work this week or next week or very, very soon anyway, I thought it was about time I did like an updated, work appropriate sort of makeup look for you. I do spend quite a long time on my base, but I feel like once your skin looks really beautiful, um, you don't have to do too much with the eyes and lips just to pull it all together. And especially the color combinations are really fresh and flattering, especially for very very pale skin like myself. If you end up enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me. It really helps me out here. And if you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. I do make three videos a week, so I'd love to have you part of my little family here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm first going in with a primer. I'm using the Miranese Tone Correcting Primer just to kind of even out my skin tone a little bit. This is a color correcting primer, so it's got like a mix of different tones in it that helps to correct your skin tone, and it actually works amazingly. If you wanted quite a natural look, you could actually just leave it as that and just apply any concealer where you need um, coverage. But I am gonna go in with foundation just to apply a little bit more coverage to the whole of my face. And I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC10. This foundation is quite long wearing and it has a decent amount of coverage so I can use just a little bit, one pump, and my damp beauty blender and that will just give me a really nice even coverage without looking too heavy. This one also leaves a really nice sort of satin finish to the skin, so it doesn't look too flat, just looks very sort of skin-like. And to save a little bit of time, you just wanna run your beauty blender, whatever's left on that, across your eyelids as a bit of an eye base. Make sure to blend it down your neck as well. Then I'm gonna pop in with a little bit of concealer. I'm using my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Chantilly. And just putting this on where I have a couple of breakouts at the moment. I like to go in with my finger with this one and then just take the beauty blender on top and kind of just sort of really seamlessly push the product into the skin. Pop a little bit around my nose where I get a bit of redness as well and just a little bit under my eye. This concealer, even though it says it's a matte concealer, it's not actually that matte and it sits beautifully under the eyes, especially if you apply it with your fingers because the warmth of your hand will help to melt it into the skin. Now I am just going to set the concealer with a little bit of powder I'm using the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder just because this concealer is quite creamy and I do find that it does crease a little bit. So I just take a little bit of the powder in the lid, grab my damp beauty blender, just bump it on like this, just on the areas where I applied the concealer. It's really handy being able to use my beauty blender for like all of these steps because it just makes it so fast. The next step is optional, but if you do feel like applying a little bit of contour, you could just go in with a wee cream contour stick. I'm just gonna use this Giordana one. I don't actually typically contour on a day-to-day -day basis anymore, but I wanted to show you this product in action because it's so great and it's so fast. So if you are after a contouring product that is really quick for day-to-day -day and really natural looking, I can't recommend the Giordana one enough. This is in the shade One Light. It's a really ashy, wearable color for pale skin. You can see that's just given me a little bit of definition, but it doesn't look over the top, which is really nice. For bronzer and for highlighter, I'm gonna use this Hourglass um, Ambient Metallic Strobe Kit, or palette, I always say kit. And I'm gonna first go in with this bronzy shade. Yes, it looks quite metallic in the pan, but when you apply it with a really big fluffy brush, you just kind of have to like, rotate the brush around to get a bit of product on all of it because it's quite a small pan. Tap off the excess a little and then you just apply it as you would normally with other bronzers, just around the forehead and along the cheeks. And even though it's a shimmery bronzer, it looks so healthy and glowy and beautiful. It'll make your skin just radiate youthfulness. <laughs> and then for highlight, I'm just gonna mix these two highlight shades here on the end and just apply a little bit of those on some of the high points of my face. You could even skip this step if you wanted it to look a little bit more natural because the bronzer does leave such a beautiful sheen on your skin. But I like using highlighter. Highlighter is something I don't tend to skip. Then a really great tip that I've discovered lately is to take your beauty blender again and just go over all the areas that you applied the highlight and kind of mush it into the skin. This will help to create such a seamless finish to the skin so it doesn't look like powdery and it doesn't look like an artificial highlight. It'll make it look like your skin's just glowing. So 
Try out that tip and see what you think of it because I was very chuffed when I discovered that. Then for a little bit of blush I'm just going to go in with my Tarte Exposed Blush. I love this one for like an everyday kind of blush that you don't have to think about. It'll go with any look if you decide to get creative on the eyes or the lips. And it's very very subtle and wearable and it's kind of like one of those blushes that you want to recommend to people that hate blush or are scared of blush. But as a pale person I like to go quite liberal with the blush because it really helps to make me look nice and healthy. And then if you feel the need to you can pop on some setting spray. I actually think my skin looks nice without it so I might leave that because it's looking quite dewy as is. Whipping in with my brow products I just go through with a spoolie first to get them all going the right way. And I'm using my e.l.f. brow kit in Ash. This is like an oldie but a goodie. And I'm just going to fill them in with that. I find this product really fast to apply. I find it really creamy. So it just kind of glides through the brows really quickly, which is nice. If you're in a hurry in the morning. And this shade is really, really beautiful for a natural brow look for blondes. And then I'm just popping through some of my Essence Make Me Brow for my brow gel. This just helps to plump them up a little bit and set them in place. It's a great product for every day because it's really inexpensive. Now for eyeshadow this is a really simple look. We're going in with the Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay and I'm just taking this Naked 2 shade here which is like a really nice sort of contour shade and a fluffy brush and you just literally whip this into the crease in little circular motions just really really fast doesn't have to be like too precise or anything because it's just a shadow and if you oh I'm losing lash extensions <laughs> then jumping back in with my hourglass palette I'm just going to take the bronzy shade that we used before and a flat shade of brush this is an hourglass one as well and I'm just going to use this as an eyeshadow just to add a little bit of a glow to the lid it looks really nice and fresh and healthy the other reason I love this palette is if you aren't quite brave enough to use this shade as a bronzer then it makes a beautiful eyeshadow so you definitely get a full use out of the palette. And then finally I'm just going to go back in with this black matte colour, this is Crave, and a little smudge brush, this one's by Eco Tools, and I'm going to use this like eyeliner. So you just want to sort of smudge this into the outer half of the top lash line. This will just give you a really subtle definition, but it doesn't look too overdone. And again, it doesn't matter if it's not like 100% perfect like a liquid liner or anything, you'll never make any mistakes with this. Um, and it is even easier than a pencil. This is also a really great tip if you do have lash extensions like me, because eyeliners, um, especially pencil ones, can be quite rough on the lashes and rip them out too early. I'm just going to pop a little bit of my Chi Chi Eye Brightener in my waterline. This just helps to brighten up my eyes. And then you would apply mascara. If you've got lash extensions like me, you don't need to. But I'm going to put a little bit on my lower lash line. I'm just using my Mecca Max Eye... What is this called? Eye Max Power Couple Mascara. I'm just using the Skinny End, which is like a really teeny tiny bottom lash wand. Just applying that to my bottom lashes. And then for lips, I'm just going in with a lip gloss, which again is super easy to apply. It's the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. This is an extremely flattering colour, and it's super fast to pop on. And that is the finished look there. So it's super fresh, very wearable sort of makeup look. It's appropriate for any kind of profession. This would also be a great look if you're at uni and just want like a fast put together face to put on in the morning. And yeah, when I'm not chit chatting away, I can put this on in like 10 minutes, maybe 12 if I'm taking a little bit longer with my brows or something that day. But it is a very, very fast makeup routine that I love doing at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me if you did enjoy it. If you're new to my channel, a very and welcome I'd love for you to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button so you get notified of my uploads I upload three times a week so I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube family here if you missed my last video you can pop over there and watch it now and until my next upload I hope you all have a wonderful few days and I'll see you in my next video bye